Hello, thank you for joining me. In this video, we're going to be tackling He-Man's Power Sword. I uh, was inspired to make one after Michael Cthulhu made his one. It's, uh, it looked very, very nice. Um, other people suggested I go and look at the Man at Arms, um, one that they did, uh, which I just didn't like at all. Uh, it was, I didn't, I didn't like it. It's just nothing else to say about it. I scaled this one up, uh, to a more sort of human size. Um, also, with trying to work with the materials that uh, are available to me easily. Uh, obviously, I, can, I could have used some like hard ox or something like that, gone up and scaled it up much bigger. Um, initial plan was to use this piece of... 1084 carbon steel. So that's an actual proper knife making steel. Uh, the plan was to uh, draw this out to the required uh, thickness and width, but looking at it, I think it's 30, 30 by 20 mil uh, thick. Um, but thinking about it, I, I just went, nah, this, without a power hammer or a, a big, big hammer to blacksmith with, it's, uh, it would take an enorm inordinate, uh, amount of, is that a right, the right word? It would take way too long. Uh, so I went out and bought, well, I didn't go out and buy I ordered from the internet another piece of 1084 carbon steel. These, these, I buy this stuff from uh, Creative Man in Australia. He, he's uh, relatively local to me. I think he's Narrowena, which is on the northern beaches of. Um, uh, New South Wales. That's that centerpiece. Before I get started with this build, I've really got to work out a better management system for my abrasives. Uh, they're growing in number, and this, while it sort of works, is, is not adequate. little scale on it so um, <clears throat> the top surface is okay for marking I just want to do down down the sides uh, I might do that with the sander
the the shearing action from the metal shear um, it's not terribly accurate but I mean neither is using that in the day to uh, start the forge up 3.30 in the meantime I might make the uh, the handle up now I was going to use some solid bar for it look at that but then I remembered I had some steam pipe see that yeah so this handle is supposed to be 32 mil or thereabouts and this stuff is 33 point oh 33 and a half let's just call it for argument's sake so um i think that's going to do size drill bit that went well the feck is going on man
Oh, so close. See if these fees. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I undo the end first. Like that. Looks like a beep. detonator. Boom. There is my dildo all polished up. Uh, I'm not happy with the finish on the end here. I'm trying to find something long enough to thread into that hole that I had when it was in the uh, the, the 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 thing. Drill press. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, if I can find a bolt to go deep into there and protrude out a little bit I can attach it to uh, a drill or something and spin this so I was holding I was holding that with basically whatever I could find like that against the, um, the bottom of the belt sander and that would with a bit of pressure on the on, on the sides uh, it got it, uh, it would rotate and got it to a smooth finish. Why am I shaking so badly today? You can see those lines. That's, um, not accurate. Lisa, please, the dog is barking. I don't know if it's just the nature of the material, but that was absolutely destroying those cutting discs. I only went through one and a half, but um, you know, considering the length, you can see all the, uh, the actual grinding material. There's not a lot of um, actual metal in it. A, uh, you can see, can you see, from that slit up the middle, the, uh, the actual tension that's still in the steel, um, this, uh, this slit, ordinarily like a blacksmith would probably cold chisel a line in there and then use a, a thing in their anvil and split it up the middle.
Dude. Make sure. Yeah, close enough for it. get an idea of how much gas is left probably up to about there which isn't too bad I guess but going for a while she asked if it's in the forge
mean that will pull it. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, tomorrow and Monday. So it's going to put a bit of a damper on the um, this side of the manufacturing. It'd be nice if I had a covered area to work in, but I don't. All right, so after many stuffings around of, uh, my printer not working and having to use the work one and trying to get it all to scale, you know, failed printings, uh, a horrible, horrible cutting board. Uh, the knife would actually fall into the previous cuts and sort of go all skew if along with my heavy handed nature uh, but it came got it to a, a point now where I can actually have all the separate components uh, I'm actually going to cut the blade short and it's about 50 mil width so I can actually uh, control the heat of this thing when I need to go and temper it, harden and temper it. Uh, the middle plate, which I still have to figure out how to do that, and then the rest of the guard pieces not seen here as the handle. On a whim, I was at the hardware store. I bought this uh, third curved flat wheel. Yeah. This thing here, should I hold it up the right way? And it's sort of, it, it's got a curved edge on it all the way, all the way over. Um, yeah, thoroughly impressed. I thought I was going to have to use a whole bunch of different abrasives to get that done. What? Hot. So you can sort of see the shapes coming out. Um, I can't get in here. I'll have to do that by file or some other means. And uh, I've got to tidy up the tip of, of the inlay
although that kind of fits in the slot uh, it's way too high a crit to do anything Mark it up on the other side. Zing's alright. Alright. Marked up on both sides with some squiggly lines. Um, something to aim for. Yeah, she's still got a bit of a bend to her. Yeah. That three mil. Anyway, a lot more fettling to do. It so ends part one. Part A. I'm waiting for about six or seven hundred dollars worth of tools and accessories that apparently are going to take three weeks to come, and I really can't progress any further with the current build. So, blade is nearly done. Um, the rest of the stuff will be hopefully here sometime in the future. So maybe a three week wait until I get back onto this. So here's part of the video. Um, hopefully the other video will be the rest of the content. Bye.